1. Concept, Structure and Function of Energy Flow Energy flow refers to the movement of energy through an ecosystem, starting with the sun and moving through the different trophic levels. It is a fundamental concept in ecology, as it explains how energy is transferred from one organism to another, and how it is ultimately lost as heat. The concept of energy flow is based on the idea that energy enters an ecosystem through photosynthesis, which is the process by which plants and other primary producers convert the sun's energy into chemical energy in the form of organic compounds, such as glucose. This energy is then passed on to primary consumers, such as herbivores, through the process of ingestion and digestion. The energy is then passed on to secondary and tertiary consumers, such as carnivores and apex predators, through the process of predation. The structure of energy flow is defined by the relationships between the different components of an ecosystem, including the flow of energy through the trophic levels. The base of the energy flow is represented by the primary producers, such as plants, that are able to produce their own food through photosynthesis. The next level represents the primary consumers, such as herbivores, that consume the primary producers. The higher levels represent the secondary, tertiary, and quaternary consumers, such as carnivores and apex predators, that consume the lower trophic levels. The function of energy flow is to show how energy is transferred from one organism to another and how it is ultimately lost as heat. It also helps to understand the relationship between different tarot. Two. Ecosystem Services, Provisioning, Regulating, Cultural Ecosystem services are the benefits that people obtain from ecosystems. They can be divided into three main categories, provisioning, regulating, and cultural services. Provisioning services are the direct benefits that people receive from ecosystems, such as food, water, medicine, and raw materials. These services are provided by the organisms and processes that make up an ecosystem, such as plants, animals, and microorganisms. Regulating services are the indirect benefits that people receive from ecosystems, such as climate regulation, water purification, pest control, and pollination. These services are provided by the ecosystem's natural processes, such as the water cycle, the carbon cycle, and the nitrogen cycle. Cultural services are the non-material benefits that people receive from ecosystems, such as recreational opportunities, spiritual and religious values, and aesthetic enjoyment. These services are provided by the natural beauty, diversity, and heritage of ecosystems. Provisioning, regulating, and cultural services are all important for human well-being and survival, and they are all interconnected. For example, the provisioning of food and water depends on the regulating services of water purification and pollination. Human activities such as pollution, deforestation, overfishing, and climate change can disrupt the balance and stability of ecosystems, leading to declines in biodiversity and negative impacts on the provisioning, regulating, and cultural services provided by ecosystems. Therefore, it is important to understand and protect the functioning of ecosystems to ensure the sustainability of ecosystem services and the well-being of future generations.